Hello everyone, this is Slashot. Uh, I've been slowly grinding this endless voyage. Um, and we're about to do a boss fight, so let's record this one. Uh, my team is not that great, but whatever. Um, I actually don't know if this team works on this boss. Um, but we'll see. Almeida has been helpful as kind of a semi-healer, um, debuffer, and buffer. She's using Mew's um, talent to actually buff my allies with 11% more attack and hint if they're on grassland or forest. And on maps that don't have those terrains, she has Deedlet's Elven Aura to grant forest uh, with a two range command aura. So everybody can still get this, which is pretty great. And then my Shafaniel is this kind of semi, you know, hybrid single target AoE mix units. Um, yeah, with freeze, this disables guard too, so which is great for lots of trash mobs. Um, and uh, you can see the skill set I have is some, in, you know, more intelligence here, more intelligence here. Um, the the muse talent and a breeze, and then my Shafaniel again has you know some intelligence here. Um, full moon for more intelligence. Uh, magic for lots of AoE damage when I use Freezing Strike. Breeze for extra damage. Um, and equipment, it's um, whatever, Pale Staff here, some Goddess Tears, not the greatest in terms of, um, you know, int boosting. So I guess, I guess I could use this for more intelligence if I want. It's like 3% more, but the Holy Grail kind of sucks, you know. Uh, and then Shafaniel's using this hmm yeah my Shafaniel is using miracle staff some hp here twilight star for fixed damage uh, not too bad not too bad my liana i didn't use the boost i'm saving this in case i get a great dps so i'm saving it she's just a standard healer here um and uh, her skill is like single target heal this prayer i really want that again but she doesn't have it and I got this divine appointment. Um, this is this is the other SR healer skill, I think. I forgot her name. Right? It grants some some people guard, but it's kind of a pseudo gospel. You can buff uh, my tank with this too, right? Attack and defense. Uh, and I have Arian Raw as my physical damage dealer. Um, rough C for more attacks. St first strike, that's great. Uh, Valiant attack for more attacks since I'm keeping him as holy class. Um, and then Meteor for lots of uh, bonus damage, 50%, that's huge. And then this Paragon of Elegance is uh, Brenda's skill. Right? Extra bonus damage when fighting a unit that has lower or equal percent HP, which is fantastic. Uh, and then, you know, once you your counter of entering combat and reaches three, you can act again. So that's really good. Very good. Uh, and if I get, you know, below 70%, I act again too. So lots of act again on everyone. That's my build. Uh, she has armor pierce and uh, noble charge. I, I put uh, Ares noble charge on, on him. Some dispel utility too. Right? And equipment wise, rag for pre-battle pre fixed damage. Arcane Armor for post-battle uh, fixed damage. Slayer Emblem for loss of Flyer bonus damage. This one in case I get below 50% for even more attack. Okay, so uh, she's fairly decent. The M defense actually post-battles quite a bit because her M defense is high. Um, you know, there is... Um, hmm. I mean, I could take one of the Breeze if I want 20% more uh, damage instead of attack, but I think stacking attack is better at this point since she has like 50 here and 30 here. That's like 80% bonus damage. Um, so Hilda, uh, this is pretty great, uh, stopping a lot of enemies from act again or move again, right? Like the, the, um, the what's it called, the octopus. <laughs> Uh, does act again before chain hold a lot of time they just you just slow them down and they don't do anything uh they just stop there uh, and this is great for single target attack that also grants uh, damage reduction right so i have steel here for even more damage reduction i have some hero defense plus 20 percent here 
This is just a filler here. Like if I do some AoE and get some bonus damage, then yeah, then I get some bonus stats for two turns, and you can stab up to like five times here. Um, and this is great when I defend and counter kill, and instantly I get thirty percent more attack and defense. And she gets super tanky. And if I want to kill, I can act again. If I want more act again on Arian Rod, I could the base even on her, but I don't want to lose damage yet. Uh, Soldier wise, probably using Exorcist, mostly uh, Crystal Motor, Sky Archer, Sky Archer. There's so many flyer units in the end of just Shrine Maiden. Um, and I use this uh, uh, three or more Holy for bonus, and then three or more Hero different different units. So I get both bonus. Um, all right, so the final boss, I think, is, is the eight. <laughs> Is the internal temple boss? Does she get stronger with debuff? Then I'm screwed because I have Almeda. Immune to displacement, percentage fixed damage effect that render you unable to take action, effect that silence soldier type change, and heal reverse and curse damage taken reduced by 100%. What? Damage taken reduced by 100%. And many enemies deal 20% increased damage for every one block move before attacking. Oh, so it's changed. It's not the same thing. So I need to charge to them. So I actually need more breeze then. Ah. Oh, I guess all the bonus damage st stacking is going to help, right? Attack all enemies in within 4 block, dealing 0.4 times LE damage. When the enemy passes with 4 block of this, passes within 4 block of this, they expand up to 7. Less mobility. What? When the enemy passes within four blocks of this unit, they expand up to seven less mobility. So I. So I can just charge around. Like I have seven free mobility when I'm near her. And what is this? Deal AOE damage to all enemy within range. Damage increase the further away the enemy is. What? The range is all? Oh my god! Wait, no. Yeah, it's all! Wait, what? Deal so you damage all enemy within range. Damage increased to further over enemies. Damage is increased by 10% for everyone. But what the hell? At the same time, increase the daily damage taken by 100% for one turn. So it targets one person. Wow. Summon two technically each turn. That's annoying as hell. Uh, I think I need magic because she's in water, right? Yeah, let's bring magic units here. Wizard. <laughs> oh my god. Attack 378. Oh god. Oh, upon attacking her and attack wizard. My initial battle. Yeah, I think I need magic here to do more damage, probably. So wizard is likely my choice. Of course, uh, this doesn't do enough damage. All right, let's bring wizard here. Uh, and then what about her? I think same thing, wizard. Actually, yeah, she needs to bring wizard too. Oh! Ah, we're gonna bring Tidal Elf. This is perfect because we're in water. Oh my god. And physical damage taken by soldiers reduced to it. Oh my god, this is perfect. I think Tidal Elf is great. Let's try Tidal Elf here. It's magic too. Um. What do I bring on Arian Rod? I think Amazon Champion for defense reduction, maybe? Amazon Champion... 30%, 4, 3, 4, and then Exorcist is what? Attacking with one battle. Um, 3, 7, 8. I think Amazon Champ is better. 4, 3, 4. Yeah, Amazon Champ is better. I think it's less HP. No, it's the same HP. What? What? 
What? What the hell? So why would I bring that unless there's class disadvantage? Yeah, let's let's do that. Um. Okay, let's go. So, let's see what happens. We just have to make sure we can actually survive. Uh. Do I need to kill these things? To be honest, can I just not kill them? They're too range too. Attack all enemies into blood dealing. Oh my god, that's so annoying. I think I need to kill them first. Oh, why did I just act again? What? Is that the stage bonus? I didn't even read the, the stage bonus. Why did I act again? I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused here. Oh my god, we didn't even kill? What the hell, man? This is a bit problematic. I think I'm gonna get er give Adrian Rod the buff so she she can guard too. Oh my god, that hurts. Ooh. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, I see what's happening. That's how it works. Can I kill this? And act again? Steel Maiden, yes. Fantastic. Hack again, ace hacking again, that's fantastic. So now I'm gonna use this skill here. So I heal everyone. Uh, we're gonna use, oh my god, this is crazy. The movement is insane. Okay, I'm now using Elven Aura for the uh, for the buff. Uh, how many do I need to move to get bonus damage here? Five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh my god, who, d who got the debuff? Who just got the debuff? Who got a debuff? Didn't she just grant us a debuff? Damage increase, right? Damage taking increase? Where's the damage taking increase debuff? I don't even see it. I don't even see it, I'm so confused. Yeah, she's gonna be our egg again, bitch. Paragon, yep. So this is great. Yeah, that's fantastic. So I'm gonna heal people here. Oh, what's all these debuff on her? Oh jeez, okay. That's pretty good. Um, oh my god, I can't even move? What? One, two, three, four. Damn, not even five movements. I think I'm just gonna guard. Not gonna move. Why did we lose this? Um, why did we lose this? I thought we have free movement. I'm a little confused here. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're not even in position. Fail. Mega fail. <clears throat> oh man.
I think we can just focus on the boss this turn. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, do armored. Wait, I think I just got out of the elven armor range. Oh well, whatever. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh man, yeah. I'm not doing enough damage for some reason. God damn. These mobs are annoying. I think I can act again here because I'm low HP. First strike, so at 50% HP, she can just be the cleanup crew, I guess. Um, kind of want to heal people up. This unit is getting close to us. I think I gotta deal with them. Oh man. Can I AOE kill this? Probably not. I don't even think I can kill it. Oh my god, I suck. I suck, man. Oh my god, I suck so bad. Um, let's just blizzard this. Do some AOE damage. Man, I feel like I'm not doing enough damage here. Oh my god, we're getting destroyed. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. We're getting destroyed. We're getting destroyed. Uh... Oh no. Um... Man, it's a slow grind. <coughs> Man. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. 
I actually don't get how this boss mechanic works. Like, why sometimes I bonus damage, sometimes I don't. I, I just, I just don't want to think about it. I just don't want to think about it. I'm just gonna brute force this out. Oh god. Let's go! Oh god. The heal actually she's gonna kill herself. Oh no, she did kill herself! No, 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 no. This is a disaster. This is a disaster. Um, I have to heal Omeda, but Omeda doesn't attack first. Sadly. Yeah, otherwise it's gonna be a disaster. Yeah, this will be fine for now, I think. Um, oh no. I'll get chain hooked. Damn it. 23. I'll, put, I'll just block here so I don't get chain food. I think I don't know how this works. I feel like I feel like I messed up. I think I'll get chain food. Oh, never mind. Um, yeah, I need to kill some of these. This boss is mad annoying, man. Just too many. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not gonna do any damage here, and they're gonna hook me, I think. Five block hook, that sucks. Do I have guard right now? No, so I need a guard. <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna hide behind them so I don't get pulled. Yeah, I'm gonna just like AoE here and heal with Elven Aura. Yeah, and uh, I'm doing no damage here so I'm just gonna stay. Yeah, I'll wait out the hooks. Damn. Damn. Oh my god. Don't die. Ah, oh, these ads are so annoying. These ads are so annoying, man. It's like, I, I, can I, I can't even AoE them down. So annoying. Kill the ones that haven't used chain hook yet. This guy already used chain hook and next is AOE skill. That freaking sucks, man. I'm just gonna kill you. Oh my god, I can't even kill you? Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? Damn, this is bullshit right now. This is bullshit right now. Okay, you know what? Let's do some Ultra Omega heal here. I don't need to heal um, everyone. Everyone can keep attacking. Yeah, this is mad annoying. I'm gonna kill it. Oh. Interesting. Okay, let's kill this too then. I need to reduce the number of ads on the map right now. 
Uh, I'll get chain hook though if I go there. So I'm just gonna go here. It's less damage, but it's fine. Didn't heal Shafania. Interesting. Oh my god! No! Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Attacking everyone is fine. Oh, what an annoying freaking fight! Go, go, kill this. I think it's a perk of the map that there's a chance for I could win. I I I I don't even know, man. But I'm, I'm just gonna use Aaron Roy to clean the map. <laughs> she runs pretty far with all the buffs. Uh, this guy is coming. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no! So I actually have to heal. So I'll use Liana to heal. Give Shafania some buff. Yeah, so annoying man. So annoying. This is so annoying. Can we just kill the boss right now? Please. Can we just kill the boss? Can I just kill the boss right now? Can I just kill the boss, please? It's like, that's not even enough damage. Jesus Christ. I don't think that's enough damage to finish the boss this round. So we have to kill more ads. Damn. All right, Paragon. Um, I don't even know which one to kill. We're just gonna kill this guy on the left. This is damn tedious, man. Gonna block the chain group. Liana stays here. Interesting, they didn't even use chain food. Okay, can we finish this please? Can we just finish this please? I wanna kill the boss. I wanna kill the boss right now. Yes, we killed the boss. What an annoying boss. <sighs> Back again on Aaron Rod help a lot for sure. Oh, that's a good healing staff. This is garbage, and that's garbage. So yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm not even using any of these classes. Okay, we're getting Night Bloom then. Ooh, we got Norm's Heart of Desire. Norm's uh, skin is really awesome, the SP skin. Huh. Okay, so... That was boring. <laughs> Thanks for watching through this video. <laughs> Sitting through this video to watch. That's just... Uh, yeah, that was kind of not, not nutty. Ah, yeah, we can just put this on her. Because it grants int and uh, my custom skill for it to spell one debuff. Int. Yeah, I don't think Liana, Liana needs this thing. Yeah, we'll just give Almeda for more damage, I guess. 
I mean, I mean, technically, I guess I can give the higher int one to Almeda too. Lena doesn't need the. Uh, Lena doesn't really need the int. She's just a healer. Yeah, so Aaron Rod help a lot with Paragon here, the Ak again, and her Ak again here when she's low HP. I think that's gonna help a lot on the final boss too. Apparently, you need to kill the boss within three turns, like what, like on turn four. There's some big AOE. Uh, uh, if you have two stacks, is it AOE or single target? I don't remember. My my guildmates has been talking about it. So if you have two deep buff stacks on your uh, one of your units, it will get killed. Something like that. Yeah. So you need like again skills or talents to get rid of the debuff or brute force and kill them on turn three, or or with whoever you have left kill them on turn four. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, very interesting situation we have here. All right, we have unlocked more skills. What is this? When units move ten block or more in total, action gain alacrity. When initial battle damage dealt increased by fifty and damage taken. Wow. We can't move that far. After attacking war quite after attacking and dealing damage three or more times. Gain high song for one turn. When attacking and dealing damage deals additional fixed damage equal to two times the units. Okay. Um hmm. interesting. And then after applying debuff to the enemy, if the enemy has five or more debuff, additional applies anathema. What is that? Damage taken increased by 40%. We don't have enough debuff to do that. We might. Depends if we are meta. We might actually. What is this? Each time this unit takes damage, it gains one stack of more for two turns. Once any friendly unit has three stack or more, all friendly units gain a twenty percent increase to attack and beat. Oh, I guess this is not bad. This is not bad for. Now it's it's bad for boss fight though, because you kind of only get it on turn three, unless you are using the tank. Hmm. This these are not all that great. After attacking, dealing damage three or more times. Aaron Rod could do that with that again, I guess. When attacking, dealing damage, and dealing damage deal. Yeah, Additional fixed damage for two times in this attack rate. It's okay, I guess. It's okay, I guess. Um, it's not that great on bosses. Yeah, it's not that great on bosses. My unit move 10 block or more in total. Does this work if I just move and move again? Like, is it accumulative? When units move 10 blocks or more in total. In total. Like, can I, can this, does this, does this count? I guess we can try later on that. This might be cumulative, right? So we're just moving around and move around and then eventually we get more damage. Maybe I'll try this for now, but this might be good actually for Aaron Rod. This is good for the whole team, but usually doesn't last that long. Um, okay, so um, this is, could be good with the debuffing of Almeda, but I don't have enough debuff. With Freezing Strike, maybe, actually, maybe, just maybe, maybe I can do this. Seems like less consistent than this if this is cumulated. 
Anyways, uh, I have CC white here that I'm not using. Uh, got replaced by Liana as soon as I got it. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, good luck and have fun. Slash shout out.